so fine and I really can't stun. But what you didn't know is she is wearing a lace front. <laughs> That took me out when I saw it. That's a clip from Wild Now featuring our next guest, actor, comedian, writer, and host, Rip Michaels. You can see him tonight or tomorrow night at DC Comedy Loft. First, so he's here to talk about his comedy show, other projects, and more. And Ashley, we gotta know, was that planned? Did you know that was coming? No, and first of all, I didn't know MTV was gonna ever air that clip, and so they aired it. <laughs> Were you <laughs> just like, what? It would air, because I was like, I had lost a lot of weight and gained it back, and somebody was like, you know what, you should wear a man shape. But I was like, you know what, they call it man shape now, so. Uh -huh. I put it on, and I, I think that people could tell I was wearing it, because I had my chest all, I look like an undercover cop. <laughs> 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 you were strapped. My shoulders was off, something, boy. It takes the fat from here, it just pushes it, it up top like this, like a, yeah. like a zoot suit, so I had no idea. I, was, I wasn't prepared for that, so I didn't even know y'all we showed that clip, so it caught me and I had to put my head down. Like, oh, it was an authentic oh, moment, yeah. though. Yeah, and it just shows your versatility as a comedian. It's one of the things I appreciate about comedians, too, is just how you adapt so well to any situation, mm -hmm. whether it's the crowd or something that comes to your mind. Like, I just, I love that. It's a skill. I love doing that, and that's what Wild Out is all about. It's an improv show. It's been on for 20 years, and I'm just being a, gracious to be a part of that, that, that improv, just coming up with stuff on the top of your dome, whether we're rapping, doing jokes. And I do that in my stand-up show. You'll see that all weekend at the D.C. Loft, so it's just a lot of fun. Wow. So when you do stand up and you come to a city like DC, what's the audience like? How do we rate compared to other audiences that First you of all, I do love DC because I started the Wild Now tour. Every time I've come here before, and I love Fox Five for allowing me to do that because the oh, very first time, too. yeah, I started it. It was me and my daughter. We're handing out flyers on the street of DC, and we sold out two arenas in one night. We did the Show Palace Arena, nice. and we did the Capital One Arena, and we did thirty thousand people in one night. So I love coming back to DC. So preparing for my special, this is the first stop as I'm preparing to shoot my special in, in uh, November to be on Netflix. So this is my first stop getting my material out and getting ready for. Netflix, so it's gonna be fun. Wow, that's I love DC to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> and as you're preparing your material, what what do you inspire from? Where do you draw your inspiration from? Um, Y'all making fun of me right now. Looking at me in that waist trainer, uh -huh. I'm definitely gonna talk about that. I think I need to get into that Beyonce formation video because right now I look like Hip Michaels instead of Rip Michaels. I mean, maybe I should go Ship Michaels because <laughs> I'm like a ship, I look like a cruise ship. So uh, but I'm definitely gonna get the way back down. So I've been sick for a while, but I'm definitely gonna get the way back down. That sin, y'all and y'all outfits made me want to get into it too. Well, you can join us for the next segment if you want to work out with us. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do that because they're over to cook chicken and waffles, and I'm about to come here again and shoot my new season. Is at Urban Eats and Treats too. I was gonna. That was my next oh. question because that series is awesome. You find the most amazing spots. Are there any places in DC that you love? Oh uh, yeah. So what I do is um, I, I let the celebrities take me to their favorite restaurants and urban areas that they like to eat. Like Cardi B took me to her Bronx place where she still gets uh, seafood in City Island. Amazing. Jacquees wow. took me to Toast on Lenox. So Wale is taking me to a couple places here and a couple other celebrities in DC take me to their favorite places. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And when is that? It's, uh, <laughs> we start shooting that in October. Oh, Can Ashley wow. let come? Yes, you know, of course. <laughs> I, I see y'all love to eat. I saw you eating a banana bread over there, so I was like, mm. Listen, I don't know if you saw the face I made, but I'm like, sometimes I forget I'm on TV. Right? It's so good. Like those waffles took your soul for a second. Like, Did you see that? I was like, I had a whole, wait, get it together. Where am I? What am I doing? And I, I chugged that mimosa, but that was some good orange juice. Yes, it was. It was really, I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it. We're having a good day. Yeah. Any other projects coming up that we can look forward to so, with yes, you? So, yes, another season of Urban Eastern Treats. Um, you get to see my successful fallback love tour. We're coming back to that. So, this has been, we just sold out 16,000 seats in Atlanta. So, we're on our way to Vegas now. We have a residence at the T-Mobile Arena, so we're going to be doing that uh, two shows uh, October 21st. So it's me, Trey Songs, Monica, a whole bunch of others. That's when I mix R&B and comedy, and I call it the Fall Back and Love Tour. So it's going to be fantastic. Gosh, I love that. You know, we had Justina Sky here a couple weeks ago. Valentine. A, I'm sorry, <laughs> Justina Valentine. I have to mention her face. Justina Valentine, and I recently saw um, DC... Young Fly. Uh -huh. Young Fly. And just the way, like, the... How you guys roll and how you play off each other is so amazing. Oh, my God, yeah. How did you get involved in comedy? Like, when did you know this is what you really wanted to do? Um, at my grandmother's funeral, of all places. So wow. my grandmother died, and uh, everybody at the funeral was so sad. And then I, I started doing impressions on my grandmother, because she's from Louisiana. She sounded like the Popeye's lady. So I started doing impressions. Like, oh, I'm still alive. I ain't gonna. And everybody in the family started cracking up, and they stopped crying and, and it just turned into me doing like 15 minutes of just wow. their favorite memories of my grandmother and, and and everybody just turned into like a celebration of life and then that right there I know that I was meant to be comedy so my name is actually not Rip Michaels it's Rip 
Mike Hills. It's R I P M I C H E A L S. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Rep Mike Hills. That's so powerful. Oh, thank you. I just that, that's what I try to do. Even my show DC, if I could just take 15 seconds away from somebody's life, because people come out and they're stressful. So sometimes comedy is therapeutic, okay. um, and the best form of healing is laughter. So I try to do that. I try to take you away from whatever problems you got going on, take you into my world for a little bit, so you can just feel a little bit better about life. Get like a verbal hug from me. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like your, your spiritual mm. arms are around the audience. <laughs> That's it. That's all I try. Very nice. And so we have the your comedy show coming up. Yes, at the DC Comedy Loft this Law? weekend. Four big shows um, as I get ready for my new Netflix special. So it's two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. And then we're coming back here um, at the end of October to Capitol Arena for the Fall Back in Love, Comedy and Music, and to tape a new season of Urban Eastern Treats. That's how much I love the DMV. We are so excited to have you here. Get tickets to the show. He's sure to give you a great night out. And we appreciate your time this morning. Stick around for some so food. much. I can't believe I sat in this chair that long with this waist trainer on, trying to control my breathing the whole time. So I did it, Mom. Waist trainer? <laughs> I've been there with the space, and then it looks like a swallowed balloon. Yeah, it's like it's not space. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>